Thanks so much for joining us here at 7. Family, friends, and a North Metro wellness community are trying to save a Pilates studio while following the tragic death of its founder. Bridget Dunn was struck and killed by a hit-and-run driver all while out walking her dog. This happened last October. Bridget owned the tight-knit facility focused on health and healing in Blaine. And tonight, they need help carrying on her legacy. Paul Bloom has the story. She was one of those people that just, you walk in the room and it was automatic light, that feeling of good, positive energy. Kelly Tollefson dearly misses her close friend and the woman leading her on her health and healing journey, Bridget Dunn. She was amazing. She still is, always will be. Kelly was, was a regular at Bridget's Body Sense Pilates and Wellness Studio here along University Avenue in Blaine. But when Bridget was killed tragically in a deadly hit and run last October while out walking her dog near her home, a heartbroken Kelly just could not bear returning to the space that for her was so therapeutic. It was hard to come back. Honestly, this is my first time coming to the studio since she was. It was just really hard to do it. After working with individuals and clients in her home in the fields of Pilates, yoga and core building, Bridget realized her dreams opening her own studio in 2018 and quickly building a community here, particularly with those seeking pain relief from serious and sometimes debilitating injury. There's a lot of healing that has to happen with that. A lot of these people worked with Bridget for many, many years, and she was a pivotal part of their recovery and healing. And um, so it was sad and it was hard. And then this is the carriage that helps you. Regina Brown is a Pilates and bar instructor attempting desperately to keep Bridget's hopes, dreams, and inspirations alive here inside the studio walls. This isn't a gym membership. It's it's not and it's not a you know a yoga studio. It is it's a community where people feel safe. The Dunn family still owns the business, and while everyone remains bullish on the future, they are in a critical moment where they need to pay some bills that piled up during the grieving period and build back after Bridget's death. Their hope is an online fundraiser can get them through this difficult period and help grow this wellness community that Bridget herself cultivated and nurtured. And I know that she would want to continue that space for people to, to come to be healed and to be well in mind and spirits. There was no judgment. Like, it was just judgment-free. Everyone could walk in and everyone got along. You know, it was nice and going to help each other. And, you know, she devoted herself to that. So I think it's big. It was huge impact for people. I think it's really important we keep it going. In Blaine, Paul Bloom, Fox 9.